Welcome back to Let's Both Play Resident Evil 5. I'm Burning Dog Face. I'm Running Drake, and let's turn this thing. We need to get through that door before it closes, and it closes real fast, so let's just book it. Oh, crap! Oh. Oh, good. I was wondering what would happen if that happened. Thanks for that. Uh, you're welcome. Take a quick drink. I'm not sure this looks better. Hmm. I'm not exactly in love with this place. That looks like a floor plate. That is absolutely a floor plate, and I don't think we can edge around it. Okay. Oh. Master run. Extra jump. Well, there's the thumbnail taken care of. All these dramatic angles and stuff. B to jump! Oh, uh, pull up. Nice! I got, uh, I got X to jump the last time, too. And then it gave me another one to pull you up. Which I had I one to grab, so I think... <laughs> If I hadn't pressed that, I'd have just immediately fallen to my death. Sounds about right. What the fuck? Is no oh, oh, there's this here. Uh. Oh, there's a different cord. I'm not even going to question the engineering behind that, because it's really convenient. This looks like it opens up a bit. And we're back outside. So to speak. Do you hear hissing? I see... Yes. I see another thing with two chains on it over there. What do I see from this side? Down there eventually. We can go straight on, or... Oh, wait. Yeah, that turns into a staircase over there. Okay, so... Probably look in this direction first. I use those same uh, bat sound effects and the logo for one of the developers for uh, Castlevania Lord of Shadows. Seem to recall. The sound effects stick in your mind and you watch that every single time you launch it. I mean, I only put it in the uh, Let's Play once, but... Uh, I notice most people don't, you know, include the entire credits or the developer logos at the beginning. I just figure it's polite. Yeah. Okay, I guess this is currently a dead end. Can't climb through these windows. There's a chest on the other side of this wall. Ooh. And it's really unfortunate that we can't just hop over through the window like we do for other places. There's a, like, one foot gap between us and that wall. But surely we can't cross that. I know, I mean, you'd need to be some kind of muscle-bound jerk to... <laughs> well, I guess we head to the bottom and look. I think there were two other directions that we could go down there. Yes. Yeah, but, you know, you hug one wall and... Well, there, we could go this way. Which way? I didn't even notice that. I see a jewel up above. 
Where? Oh. It's well spotted. It helps that it's blinking. Yeah, it's just I don't look up enough. Well, we were heading upstairs. Okay, a dude's definitely going to spawn here. Oh, I yeah, yeah. This will be like the, the sniper spot where he throws spears at us. With this convenient pile of spears. Wouldn't it have been a dick move to put one of those emblems in the background while we were fighting Irving? Or just put like attach it to one of the uh, tentacles. Oh yeah. <laughs> but like not the middle, like at the very tip. Oh yeah, because they were whipping around all the time and. <sighs> all right, so I think we just go down the stairs now. Yeah. and we trigger something. This goes down as well at some point. I'd say so. There's, uh, up there, there's two more chains, so this becomes a staircase at some point. Or it rises, raises up, depending. So there's two of those statues. Oh, we can't get to the red one yet. I think it's your turn to open one of those. One of these things doesn't belong. How do you say that? That's really weird to see that there. It's a grenade launcher. Oh, man. Uh, shit. I get rid of. If I could... Wait. How can I... If I did... Give me an herb. Oh. I was a request. Shit. Okay, so... Tell you what. How can we... I will... Let me combine them with the one in your inventory. Ah, of course. That's very clever thinking. Uh, yeah, so... I guess I'll take it. So I guess we pull the things on this statue over here and see what happens. I think the hissing might have just been the falling water. You, you keep being hopeful. <laughs> oh, look at that. We have to separate before we can pull both chains. Can, can we get over there? I don't know where the other side is. Oh. Well, you mentioned it. That does seem strange. What if, Okay, what, if, what happens if I just grab this one? Does it, like, Come trigger on. anything? It's not close enough. No, nothing seems uh, to happen. Move away from there, I'm going to try something. Oh, okay. Nope. Let's see, maybe to the left, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, you, you go take care of that, and... Yeah, this is the path to get over there. Check your corners. The camera is going way up as I walk over here. Oh, there are actual bats floating around in the environment. They're flapping their wings much faster than they would in real life, but whatever. Okay. I was not expecting that to happen. That's more like it. I think we have to go your way. That that uh, sapphire has been underneath that uh, that statue for years. Oh, there's a vase hidden back here with a first aid spray. Hmm. Yeah. Just trying to decide if I should just, just ditch these hand grenades and uh, pick that up. It's your call. 
Oh, I sure hope I don't do it. Well, I mean, it is a first aid spray, and those are really useful. Yeah, I have, I have a red-green, but... Actually, you know what? I... I... <laughs> I'll get rid of the green. Oh, yeah. I'll stand over here. Okay. Then I'll get the spray. Oh, I thought Here's you were going to use it. Oh, I'm... I'm, yeah, I'm a bit of an idiot. Uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, is, do you want to have? Do you do you want to trade one of the? Uh, oh, that yeah, grenade, that seems like a good call. One of the grenade types. Uh, sure. You want the flashbangs that are regulars? Uh, I'll take either. Oops. Here you go. Give me a can of first aid spray. Let's see all these lines that we uh, didn't bother hearing. Jump cut. All right. Starting to feel like we're getting a little closed in. Yeah, I'm getting that impression. There's another statue right here. So the area is very, you know, to the point. Which means I'm going to peek over here. Yeah. Oh, there's a treasure chest. I wasn't actually expecting to find anything. Ooh. Golden idol. <laughs> Sudden Hippies and I were discussing, you know, this inventory versus RE4's inventory Tetris. And he commented on how in RE4 you could have heaps more ammo. But uh, in this game, it, you know, depending on what you what kinds you have, you could actually carry more guns since each of them only takes up a single slot. Right. I seem to remember having a pretty decent arsenal in RE4, but you know. Let's see what he's getting at. Are you sending up there? I heard I heard people. I did too, and they did not sound happy. I, I don't suppose they'd make it easy on us and we can just jump down here. No, of course not. Have we been to that side? Yes, that's where the the, the one gem was up about. When we said, Oh well clearly people spawn here. Yes, right. Ow! What even was that? Oh, one of these explodey arrow guys! What do the guys with the torches do? Do you want to find out? Nope! Good call. Oh! Er, er, gotta get through. Oh, no, no, it's not gonna work. Oh, shit. Now is the time for... Yeah, good call. Nope, shit. I'm just dying. I was invincible just there. That was a nice thing to discover. Damn it. <laughs> Isn't what I meant. Get off of that. It's... You know, fuck this, it's grenade time. It went much too far. I think got the job done. Knock those guys on their ass. Oh yeah, the dudes are still shooting at us. Oh shit. He's got a standing over there, not doing anything. See if you can get a headshot with a rifle. That's what I was just about to do. I think I might hear a snake head. I'm not sure. Just watching as they shot at you, I'm pretty sure the uh, explosives have a much smaller radius than I thought. Uh, their explosives, I mean. Oh, fuck. Where'd this guy come from? I was just about to try and shoot him, but he... Oop. Oh, yeah, that works. He took a bullet for you. Oh, fuck. Spry, motherfucker. No, nope, I cannot seem to stomp this guy.
Machine gun ammo. I hear dudes up into the... Hello. Goodbye. Should have checked to see if you need that. I wasn't expecting you to right behind me. I was kind of startled and turned around, which is actually more than the game itself has done. Like, RE4 wasn't exactly, you know, the scariest horror game I've ever played, but it did have, like, jump scare moments that kind of got me. Uh, it, that, is, that is the argument that they had of, you know, horror games inevitably turn into action games. I guess that's why they, uh, like, deliberately went in a very different direction for Resident Evil 7. I've heard that game is scary as shit. Shotgun shells. Thank you. Ammo check. Um. There what the fuck is this guy's problem? He has a headache. Like I hear that. Oh, he dropped something. I guess we just have Good to admire luck. it from a distance. How the hell did he end up there? I don't know, maybe somebody kicked him. Um... Yeah, I hear RE7 is like alien isolation levels of scariness. Although I have heard that so it's like... Something like two-thirds of the game before you actually get a weapon, and once you do, the game immediately stops being as scary. Um... What the fuck? Flash rounds. Black Panther. Huh. This is like nine years before that movie got made. <laughs> he was a kid, like. It's a joke. Let me see. I really want to know what these are, but I don't want to throw something away just to find out. This one only has one arm. Uh, but it's still a B to pull. Try to help me? Like, maybe it's just really heavy? No, not getting anything. Uh, no. Okay, there's another one around. Maybe, oh, is does that one also only have one arm? Over here... No, this is... I think we pulled this one already. No, that... The stairs only just, uh... Opened up in this direction. Well, we can pull both of these. Alright, let me... Is it like one in the opposite corner of the room or something? Well, I... We can't get to the opposite corner of the room, I don't think. I guess you're right. Uh, suddenly paranoid that will close off the path we need to take to get it. Oh, and what? We'll miss out on some uh, great uh, secret? Yeah. Or... Oh, that's the one we originally came in through. That's very clever. Okay, so, is there? We need to find another pink one, I guess. I th I think there's another one on the bottom corner. Did we get the red one I saw when we came in? I don't, man, I don't remember. Wait, what the fuck? Now two of them are closed. Does it change all of them when they do that? No, but it. Oh, oh, oh over there. Yeah. I'll head back upstairs. Bad things are going to happen here in a moment. Honestly, the way this game works, I would not be surprised if bad things happen in both places. They're just fucking dropping from the sky. Oh, there's spiders up here! There's spiders down here! Oh um, shit. That's a bad... That's a problem. 
What happened? Oh. He eventually just fell off. Also, there are dudes down here. Yeah, I think you got the short end of the stick there. Nope, never mind. Dude's up here. That's one of you guys. Magnum ammo. You can angle on that guy from up here. I, I found out what the torch people do. What do they do? They breathe fire. Ooh. Ha. Huh. Nice! Fucking three pointer with that grenade. You know, there's definitely uh, more shit for you to deal with than what I had to deal with. And I say that, but. No, no, still, I've seen more dudes down there. And down he goes. Machine gun ammo up here. Oh shit! Wow, that was really close. More machine gun ammo, more handgun ammo. Vases down here. Are these guys just gonna keep spawning until we pull the le the, the thing? Man, I don't know. Go for the ammo. We did learn uh, off camera at one point that things do despawn after a while. All right, music stopped. Right, let's see if the magnum ammo disappeared. Fair enough. Oh, so that's it. No, no, it was it was in this area. Oh, well, shotgun shells shotguns. anyway. Yeah. There's a. Uh, I think there's still some machine gun ammo upstairs. Uh, nah. Uh, all right, let's get back up there and pull that thing. That was very clever of them to divide us like that. Although I guess we could have both gone to the bottom one. All right, I'm in position. Oh, actually, I think I might have picked up your bag of ammo. No, so you did. You want to check out that flash ammo or whatever that was? Let's see. Use a heal. Uh, I'll, still... I'll hold off for right now. Okay. Where were we? Right map, where am I going? I'm going that way. Let's see. Okay, so the flash rounds are for the grenade launcher. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure if the grenade launcher was going to turn out to be like the rocket launcher, where it's like you use all the ammo and then it's gone. Yeah, yeah. Alright, it seems I can, ex I can switch between explosive rounds and, uh, and the flash rounds. And flash rounds will be just devastating to the plug us, so. Right, so Still doesn't do strike me as an especially uh, useful thing to invest inventory space in. It's just straight down this way. Did we get that thing? What thing? To the right? 
Yep, that's what we're here for. The red one you mentioned immediately. Oh, that's why they wanted us to see it immediately. Right, shit, the timer went during all that fighting, so we probably hit a uh, seam by now. I'll just grab I'll this. Checkpoint. It's a good time for it. I'm Burning Dog Vase. I'm Ronan Drake. And we'll see you next time on Let's Both Play Resident Evil 5. Later.